minutes without any contest. Uh, yeah. So I think it's safe to say we're going to see a third map. Indeed, and of course that's exactly what we do want to see. Uh, it may just very well be that uh, maybe Soy isn't quite as happy on this map and hasn't quite played uh, played it as uh, much as others. So uh, I'm wondering if Sir Dark, do uh, you know what the tiebreaker is going to be between these two teams? Yeah, Trinity, it'll be CA2. Okay, all right, interesting choice. So, Trinity, yep. Yep, sort of the... Uh, larger version of DM6. So we're gonna see another, you know, very vertical map, multi-tiered. Um, it's, it's a lot larger than, than this one, though. So that uh, I think could play in yeah. Swiss favor. Yeah, it's a very open room map. Uh, very rail heavy. Ha uh, having the rail in that map is a very big factor because uh, there's so many open rooms like DM6, but it's such a bigger map. Again, great teamwork by SS. They're able to shut down Soy. And really, at this point, they're denying them just about everything. I have yet to really see Soy come out swinging with uh, solid weapons and armor. Train. The instant that he picks up red, he gets railed. And uh, he might get this frag against James. Oh, he might not. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, so that's really got to be eating into... Yeah, that really has to be eating into their confidence um, and focus at this point. It really seems like there's nothing that they can do to, to pull this thing back. Eric now getting grenade kills. Mm, yeah, that's that's just really tough. Uh, great defense of red armor. James keeps it on its pedestal. Amazing shot there. And well, uh, if he chooses, uh, he can march right over to it now because it is now it's quad damage. Yeah. Even though Soy is uh, getting getting owned right now they they are doing like they, they are doing pretty well not really slowing down that pace they're, they're still trying to keep their head in the game and i like that even even though they're not really picking up too many frags i think that just has to do with like that ss has, has complete control of the map right now yeah they do they're doing a very very good job of not giving up any items and uh, at least if, if Soy can move into the next map with that momentum, it uh, definitely yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm getting some chatter here from IRC that perhaps CA2 is not Soy's favorite map. So this, uh, this could be interesting, considering that uh, we have pushed the thing into a tiebreaker. Um, because I don't see any sort of uh, you know 46 frag comeback in the next two minutes. So that being said, you know, what will Soy put together? Uh, anything at this point to go off into the next game, you know, whether it's that one frag that they get that's just completely awesome, that awesome air rocket, that nice flick shot, whatever motivates them to do better in the next map. And, they, and now, what I would usually say is, you know, if they can rack up, say, a good... I don't know, six, maybe ten kills in the final minutes here between them. That will do a lot to sort of rejuvenate their uh, their confidence. That being said, we're still seeing control handedly in SS's favor, so. Nice double team. They're going to get both of them. No, no Eric, Eric goes down. Uh, he's moving in on the squads, coming up in three. Can train survive? Oh, and no, he will not. He will go down right as quad spawn. So now we see a 50 frag advantage for SS. One minute to go. And, you know, quite frankly, folks, this is kind of a. <laughs> this is kind of a um, unnerving thing because after the start of this map, we did see that these two teams were extremely even. And it really took a series of quad runs in SS's favor that gave them the control of the map. And honestly, once they got it, they never, ever let go. I'm impressed with this because it's it's one thing to have control in this map in a 1v1. Um, but it's strangely much harder in a 2v2 because you have so many fresh spawns uh, able to uh, you know make quick movements towards weapons and armor. That, uh, trying to put them on lockdown can be a hectic affair. Yeah, I, I'm trying to remember how many quads Soy actually had. 
I can't seem to remember. Maybe. But with that said, uh, SS. SS 90 to 30, 39, taking the second map, James sitting at uh, 52 frags, 23 deaths, Eric 44 frags, 25 deaths. Do we, do we want to, um, uh, you know, just have them toss the, the third map for whatever they want to play? I don't really care. It's uh, 2v2 to yeah, the end to me. What I, was, what, what I was following was the... Um, the tiebreaker map for week seven, which is CA2. I mean, the thing is, if you open it up for debate or discussion, it's gonna, you know, uh, given that it's a friendly. Um, yeah, yeah. You might be here for half an hour. Is what you're saying? <laughs> yeah, and, and then and then West is already waiting in the wing, so. Yeah, so I, I, I'm taking it that they're not really taken kindly to this map. But I mean, honestly, it's it's really well, not a bad map. Well, he, here's a here's food for thought. These guys have a match this week. If they play their opponent and it goes to a week three, guess what? They're going to have to play this map. Yeah. So I, I mean, yeah. Regardless of play, it, if if it comes to it, so. They they yeah. want to run DM6. All right. Yeah, sure. Let them run DM6. That's fine. Cool. Fine. Yeah, we'll let them. <laughs> we'll right, Let's we'll do it. Good. I'm so glad we don't have to get into this. I'm telling you. <laughs> Good. Good. <laughs> well, and you've had uh, the Good. Bellazone they said fine. Tonight. Go. Uh, go. You know, I, I <laughs> honestly really appreciate uh, you know the effort that you've been putting into get, getting these teams ready. And of course, you know, when realizing that East Coast wasn't quite set up for tonight, you put together this exhibition. So uh, big thanks to you. Yep. Now. Uh, that being said, Thanks. Jahar apparently wants to play. There we go. Whoops. <laughs> Wrong button. <laughs> By the way, Jahar just joined Soy. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't want to that player. He even has the right color. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here we go. Waiting on Effortless. Here we go, guys. We're gonna guess we're this. We're going live. Yeah, tiebreaker in three, two. And one, and we're gonna watch Eric out of the gate, and he gets a rough spawn heading immediately towards the real gun. Now, team deathmatch. The armor, most important armor, is over near the pillars, which Eric is heading over towards now. It has already been picked up, so it's not on its pummel. Oh no. That's a pummel. Oh goodness. Alright, so Eric, Eric is hanging out towards the red armor. And it looks like uh, the momentum that SS has has been carried through. That being said, Effortless is just secured the red armor plat. Five seconds too late, though. He will not be able to pick up that item. Eric is able to finish off his opponent. Yeah, so he's not squad. too strong right now. First quad to James. And that, you know, that's basically going to set them up. Uh, they'll probably, we'll probably see James use this to take control of Red. Red has just been picked up by Soy. But, uh, oh god, close range quad rocket. <laughs> and he holds his fire. Effortless gets the better of him in the interim. So 5-3, to three, that quad run is shut down. Train just picked up an NG kill. And that'll bring it within one. Effortless now defending from Rocket, but needing armor. Heading back over to it, and he might die here because it's an LG in the hand of Eric as he picks up the red armor. And let's go take a look. That was down. a nice uh, grab. It, it was indeed, and it happened at just the right time because um, had that armor uh, been picked up by Soy, that could have set them up after... I mean, there's a series of 25 hells all over the map, and they really could have set them up for a nice uh, control of the map. So, um, Eric now grabbing a railgun. That will set him up for this yellow armor, and then, in, indeed, for... Uh, you know, basically, he should be able to get back over in time. Great work there. It uh, helps his teammate out. Teammate dies, but now, see, he's pushed him off of red armor. This is really important. And so Eric can go in for this kill. Now, if we go and take a look at his teammate, Oh, James is in the wrong place. So Red Armor is up for the grabs, and we just saw it picked up by Train. So I think that's a bit of a mistake there by SS. But let's see if they're punished for it. They're uh, still leading by seven frags, but uh, they really could have controlled Red Armor at that moment. Uh, Train, though, currently without weapons, yeah. might not be able to do much here. He's got to move quick in order to get some weapons, and uh, I think he's going to go just try to control Red. He's fighting against a real gun.